This is a reading for Libra. This is a pink full moon. <coughs> Excuse me. A pink full moon in Scorpio. I don't know. That cough came out of nowhere. Uh, I've been out in the sun too long. That's my problem. Ugh, I love being outside. But anyway, we have a pink full moon in Scorpio for you. Um, it's going to happen at 7... 49 p.m. on April 23rd. That's uh, a nice pink color. With the with the Scorpio full moon, it usually talks about um, rebirth, discovery, fertility goals. Could be like meeting up with an old friend, um, meeting a friend that reminds you of somebody, or somebody that reminds you of somebody else. Maybe a relative or long lost love or something. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot of new opportunities here. Especially if you're getting a new pet. There could be a pet that you want. And it reminds you in mannerisms of, you know, an, a pet you had as a kid. Ugh, I keep dropping my cards everywhere today. All right, we have tent. We have temporary situation. We have V for victory in some endeavor. We have cat. We have two-faced friend. We have bull. We have do not back down from the opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Okay, we have seahorse. We have family matters. We have happiness. We have a bat. We have take care. Enemies working against you. We have goldfish. We have increase in material wealth. Or spiritual growth. We have October. That can be important to you. It could be your birthday. Or it could be an event in your life that's significant. We have clouds. We have temporary problems. We have carrot. We have opportunity or windfall. We have scales. We have keep your life in balance. It's funny that the scales would come out in Libra. Alright, anyway. Um... What part of yourself is being left behind during this full moon? We have unconscious, an offer. It could be you're trying to offer somebody something or they're trying to offer you something. Maybe the offer's gone. I don't know. Maybe the offer changed a little bit. I don't know. Okay, so what has been sleeping within you? We have regret. We have um, obsessive partner. I feel like you might be obsessed with somebody, but you're not going to let it show because you're a Libra. Air signs don't really tell people. Like, they believe that their energy is enough to, like, sway people in a direction. Which is not true. Sometimes you do have to tell people how you feel. Um, I know it's kind of eluding a lot of people, but sometimes if somebody moves you in that direction. You need to say something. You need to be like, you're very cute or, you know. You have to open up the line of communication so, like, they remember you, too. Like, <laughs> people people don't just meet by osmosis most of the time. But most people don't don't meet just, like, oh, I'm thinking about you, and then, like, they're there, you know. It's not, not a genie or a hat trick. You have to literally say something. If you want somebody in your life, you have to say something, and you have to be solid about it, you know. It's, it's that type of thing. Okay. Where will you cross the threshold in this, um, in this full moon? We have a abusive lover, and we also have cheating. So you might be cheating on somebody. Also, your current partner could be abusive, which, yeah. Um, I feel like you're in love with somebody else, and you've been, you know, daydreaming or idealism about it. You're obsessed with this person. And then your partner believes that you're cheating. You probably aren't cheating. Libras daydream a lot. Geminis daydream a lot. And Aquarians daydream a lot. Aquarians daydream about some crazy shit, though. But, um, yeah, I feel like you've been daydreaming about stuff. And your partner that you're with right now could think that you're doing something else uh, when you're at work, you know. Weird. But, um, yeah, I just feel like you're... You want something else that's more on an even keel, and I feel like you're with somebody who's who's a little bit controlling, where you can't 
you can't feel like yourself anymore. You don't feel alive. You just feel like you're stuck in a situation. Which hopefully around this time, like you kind of think about your options about leaving or divorce or um, bettering yourself in some way, shape, or form so that you attract bigger things to yourself. Or you seek certain help from community groups or self-help groups that would kind of sit down and try to help you out therapy or something like that and find out why you're attracting certain things to your life or idealizing stuff that you want in your life and not really going for them that's a it's a chronic disease to be honest with you if you're idealizing something that you can't wish to fruitification or you're not doing the right things to get it to fruitification and leave behind things that are toxic or not really helping you in any way okay I don't like abusive relationships and I just think a lot of people kind of stay with somebody because of either religious reasons or they don't really see a way out which you know the knowledge is power okay but whatever you do if it's worth it and you're just staying for the kids you might want to rethink that okay because worth it doesn't always mean worth it maybe it's worth it for your kids to see you every day when they're growing up but if they're past the age and they can kind of make decisions themselves it's time to get out okay because you're gonna ruin yourself and wreck yourself you're losing time you're losing strength you're losing yourself and in, in the mess you know it's not good all right so just be careful on that and if it's something else like you have addictions to stuff you might want to go seek help for your addictions okay Anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Um, enjoy the full moon while it lasts. It's always interesting to see. It does change people for the better sometimes. And um, think what I about what I said if you're going through some stuff. I mean, I'm, you know, I want everybody to have a good life. I don't want people to feel like they're in drudgery all the time. All right. Anyway, I'll see you later, okay? Bye.